Good morning, everyone. I'm glad to be, I'm glad to be here with you uh, to talk about how to build immersive experiences uh, for the metaverse with WordPress. This is not a click byte title. This is true. Uh, um, as, as she said, I'm Javier Salinas. I, I was born in the Canary Islands in Tenerife, uh, Spain. I have, I've been working as a photographer, videographer, uh, web designer and graphic designer. And for the last years, uh, in virtual reality, applied to educational sector. Uh, in 2008, as a web designer, I uh, used to work with Flash. I think uh, many of you know what Flash was. It was an amazing tool for designing websites, but it has a problem. Um, it was very difficult to update the sites. You have to unpack all the sites, make the changes, and upload it again. Uh, so then I discovered WordPress, and I have been working with WordPress since then. Uh, so, the metaverse. Um, I have a question. How many of you have played with virtual reality glasses? Oh, not a few. Only a few. Uh, well, the metaverse, uh, I have a bad news. The metaverse today is nothing. Uh, nothing but a marketing, sorry, a marketing campaign. While I say that, uh, what you see here is the uh, search volume for the keyword metaverse in 2021. Uh, before 2021, nobody was talking about that. Then in 2021, a social media company changed its name, so the interest uh, rises. And then in 2022, um, the NFTs came to, to life, and then in 2023, the IA came to life, so the interest of the metaverse is going down. Maybe the last week is going up again. But today, uh, the problem is that many companies have spent a lot of money creating worlds or metaverses, their own metaverses. Um, but worlds for brands, um, for companies, and not for people. And, but I have also good news. The metaverse is a fictitious virtual world or a collective and shared virtual space. This definition was written by Neil Stephenson, science fiction writer, in his novel Snow Crash from 1992. So the metaverse today, uh, it doesn't exist, but it's a long-term project. Uh, we are starting now to, to write uh, this path. Uh, the futures of the metaverse. Uh, the metaverse is single. Um, many people talk about several metaverses, but this is not right. The metaverse is only one. It's like the internet we know today. Uh, the metaverse is universal. We can access from everywhere, every time, like the internet we know today. But the third one is the game changing. It's immersive. Uh, if you have played um, with virtual reality glasses, the sensation of immersive, uh, immersive website um, is unique. So we have to change our mind. We have to start to think on 3D spatial websites. Spatial computing is a term we uh, just recently heard. And we have to change from 2D to 3D space. We have to break the two axes of our screens. We have the X axis and the Y axis. And we have to think in a third one, is the Z axis. We have to change from shapes to form. It's a very different way of uh, thinking how to design and build websites. So how can, how can we make uh, WordPress immersive? This is the, um, the main question. Um, as I have been working with virtual reality, I have the idea to mix some technologies, some languages, um, and to uh, start to, 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 to design 3D uh, websites. Um, many of you may know A-Frame. It's an open source library, uh, 3.js based framework for building immersive web experiences. It has a couple of years, um, but it's very interesting because with a very few lines of code, we can do um, 3D websites. But it has a problem, the same problem that Flash had in those days. It's very difficult to update the site because it's pure code. You have to edit the code and 
uh, ability at the game. So um, it's, it's very simple, as you see here. We have a library, main library, a script, and then we uh, open a tag, a scene, and inside this scene we put our content. Okay, this is a basic scene. Um, you can see in, in 3D space, but this um, is immersive. This this scene. Okay. So I started to think that it has some similitudes with WordPress. For example, in WordPress we have the themes and plugins, and in a frame we have the libraries. This adds our extra functionalities. In WordPress, we have the posts and the pages, and in A-Frame, we have the, the scenes. This is the publication type. And in WordPress, in Gutenberg, we have the blocks, and in A-Frame, we have entities, that is our content, okay? So, we can combine the power of A-Frame with the flexibility of the WordPress CMS to design and build immersive websites. So let's make an experiment. This is only idea, it's a moonshot, it's a hope and inspiration for the future, but it's also opportunity for designers and for developers and for WordPress uh, to build this future. So the first thing we have to do is to add this functionality, this A-frame functionalities. We have to insert the latest version of our A-frame library in the header of our site. How can we do that? With a simple function. Uh, here you have the first line of a plugin I'm writing from uh, weeks ago. Uh, my first attempt was a theme, but I think a plugin is uh, a better approach for that. So we load the library in our header with this simple function. The second thing we have to do is to create a custom post type. Uh, I have to. I have tried to. Um, to do this, uh, this, this o sea, we have to, to name the, the custom post type scene. Uh, it has to be compatible with Gutenberg. And we have to add the, this tag at the beginning of the, our content. Again, we use a function to do that, simple function to add our uh, tag uh, in the content. So we have the opening tag, then the content, and the closing tag. Pretty simple. And the third, the third thing we have to do is to add the content elements. Uh, we can use our custom plugins. I have tried. Um, I failed because it's very tricky, you may know, to have custom plugins. But there are a lot of plugins uh, in, the, in the plugins repository to do that. We have to create our own elements, our own entities for inserting uh, as content. Okay. We have all these entities in A-Frame. We have, of course, uh, shapes like boxes, cycles, spheres, um, cylinders. We also have uh, 3D models. Uh, we have cameras, we have lights, and all these elements, uh, we can use them to build our scenes. How can we insert uh, content in our scene? For example, here we have a uh, an e box, an entity called box. You have all these attributes for this element, okay? And this will be the code to, to insert it. With our custom uh, block, I'm adding here in this example only three attributes position, rotation, and color. Uh, position and rotation are coordinates, okay? To our x axis, y axis, and z axis. And the color is a simple color picker. The resulting code is like many short codes in WordPress. So we have our first uh, entity, our first content type. After creating custom blocks, we can add more. We can add cylinders, as we saw before. We can add spheres. We can add planes. So we have this basic setting again, but with our new system. We can also add accurate rectangular images for making skies. We can do, uh, we can add uh, video, uh, video sources, and we can add lights to lighten our scene. Uh, every, uh, each of these elements have its own properties. Okay, lights, for example, as the rotation, as the color, the intensity. 
we can upload 3D models, I have said, uh, but we have to use a filter because WordPress doesn't allow to uh, upload 3D models to the media gallery. But again, with a simple function, we can tell WordPress to allow us to upload these models. To the models, we can add shadows, reflections, and rotations with simple uh, coordinates, simple um, tags. We can um, edit our, our models and customize it. And of course, we can add motion controls. You may know that um, virtual reality headsets has motion controls for, for hand tracking and of course for interact with the environment because it's not a, a dead environment. We have it to be um, interactively, okay? And our, our Gutenberg editor will look like this. We have at the left the list of elements and at the right we have our custom elements with its own properties. It's pretty simple to edit it, save again, and we have our site updated. We have solved the problem that we had before with A-Frame. We are using the WordPress database to store all this information, to update it, and then to paint uh, on the front page. But combining all those elements is possible to build much more complex scene. Uh, you may know that adding 3D models, or editing lightnings, cameras, we can build these, these worlds. Uh, in 2021, from WordPress Spain, WordPress Spain, uh, we did that WordCamp uh, um, late night show. It was a live streaming program. And I could uh, uh, work there making a 3D TV scenario. And I had the idea to replicate this with this, uh, that, that scenario with this, uh, this method. And what you see here, this is a WordPress page. This is made everything with that method. As you see, we have a floor, we have lights, we have 3D models, the sofa, we have a video source, and this scene is interactive. The media gallery will look like this. We have all these 3D elements uh, uploaded. We can edit them, we can swap them, we can change, uh, upload the new, new. And the Gutenberg editor will look like this. We have the list of elements, and at the right we have all our elements that we can uh, combine as we like. I should have the opportunity to have a, to do a live demo. It has not been possible, but uh, it works also for WooCommerce. Um, last month, I did a test for a 3D e-commerce shop where you have the 3D products. You can touch them. You can add them to the uh, cart. You can, of course, buy them. And with the glasses, is uh, really impressive because of the immersion. And I think, um, Maybe in 10 years, uh, it's very difficult to say, but 3D webs uh, will be uh, more common than today. So we have to keep an eye on this, and I hope you, uh, you can try and be success. Thank you very much. If you have any questions. That was really, like, caught me off guard. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. All right. We have any questions to start off? Right here, William. Got a mic? Where's the microphone? The mic is coming. Uh, I just want to say good presentation. Um, my question is related to what are your views on how the metaverse is actually going to affect the changes of web development for WordCamp conferences and WordPress itself? Because I'm in a similar field, like you are creating um, metaverse sites for WordCamp conferences itself, and I find that there isn't, I think, like a seriousness to it, or it really taken off now. 
because of that? It's very difficult to say. Um, in the repository, there are some uh, plugins for 3D. There are first attempts to do things with WordPress. Uh, I don't know really what it's going to be in, in some years, but I think it's a good opportunity because uh, WordPress is spread all over the world, all over the internet, and I think the metaverse really is a, an evolution of the internet, how we know today. So um, we have to be there. We have to uh, we have to read. We have to test things. We have to talk to each other. Um, we have to see what other people is making. For example, if you know um, Mozilla Hub, they have a couple of impressive uh, 3D web um, demos. Uh, you have to look at this amazing what these people is doing. And of course, we have today a problem. This uh, bandwidth is very short, with the stretch. But maybe in the future, this will be not a problem. So it's really difficult, but we have to be there. I I'm sure it's going to be serious. Uh, not for all things, but I, I'm sure that for working, for studying, uh, have a lot of potential. Thank you. Thank I you connected with you on Twitter, so I sent you a message on Twitter. Oh uh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. Next question. Hello. Hello. Thank you for your presentation. Uh, Will you be able to manipulate with 3GS functions everything of this? Or is it a different... You didn't load the 3GS. You have to load it. It's, it's codependent. Is, is there a dependency? Uh, I know there are some uh, plugins for editing 3D models, but mm -hmm. yeah, the model, you have to upload it as it is. Uh, maybe we can do a, a trick for changing textures, for example, or changing shadings. Uh, I have to try that, but um, at now you have to upload the model as it is. But you can upload the model as it is, and then with the lightning, for example, uh, everything changes. So you can move it, you can scale it, uh, you can do a lot of things. But yeah, the model you have to upload. So 3GS doesn't have to be loaded. Is it on the same library? But because you, uh, you showed only one JavaScript, is everything inside? Yeah, you upload uh, you upload the three D models as images. Uh, no, no, no. I mean uh, the library showed for the a, a. Oh yeah, the library is only one line. Just that. Yeah, no three Gs. No, just that. Wow, that's good. Yeah, <laughs> I, the first the, the first huge, thing was you know? uh, like, this is gonna be work. This is not going to be work to work. But yes, it works. It's only one line. Uh, if you get into the A-frame code, it's a huge library. Yeah. But from with WordPress, only with this line on the header, you have all the functionalities of A-frame. And it's, it's curious because uh, even you have one theme or another, it paints the 3D web uh, in front of what you have in WordPress. It's very curious. Uh, yes, this is impressive, and only with the uh, tags. Yeah, you, because 3 you is uh, actually really huge. Yeah, I mean, there's so much to do, to do with it. Uh, a lot of information. Yeah. <laughs> there's a lot of to thank do. You. Yeah, yes. Thank, thank you. Thank you. Any other questions? Anybody is going to ask for the okay. Apple vision? <laughs> Hi, thanks for an awesome talk. Um, I have a question very interested in your point of view from, from your experience. Uh, maybe you know some current tools uh, that connect AI uh, with uh, metaverse development, uh, 3D development, and is there uh, any like, current opportunities to connect it? And what future do you see from that perspective, from that angle? Thank you for your question. Uh, the IA is uh, an amazing tool um, for making uh, 3D things. It's amazing that uh, it knows what a frame is. You tell ChatGPT, uh, write me as uh, an iframe scene, and it does. Uh, it's really amazing. You can uh, use uh, IA, for example, for uh, 
writing this plugin, or writing a scene, for example, but you have to know what to tell it to do. Uh, for example, at the university, um, we recommend to use ChatGPT only for things you know, for uh, uh, to if if you don't know the answer, it can give you wrong information. But if you do the answer, you can use it to have more ideas, uh, to develop more content. But you have to guide it uh, what you want. Um, I have a, it has a lot, a lot of potential. Uh, it's another thing that is uh, is here for staying. Uh, it's only one year, but it's amazing what we can do with IA. So uh, maybe in ten years, what could be? It's it's uh, awesome. So we have to be there too, and to combine it. It's, I think it's the time to start to make to make experiments and to mix things because you can do very interesting things. Yeah, thank you. Thank you very much. Questions? Sure, just ask. Oh my gosh. <laughs> wow. Okay, Siri. <laughs> um, did you illustrate all your slides? Javier, there was one slide that was like, it was just beautiful. Did you design that? Uh, the experiment? Yes. The one of the experiment? No, this is a uh, okay. um, Mediterranean image. Oh, no, no made worries. with AA. <laughs> and part of this code is made with AA. It's a guide, it's a help um, of, for the images, for example. You don't have copyright, so absolutely. <laughs> but it's beautiful. Uh, there were a lot of try before. <laughs> yeah, no, no, absolutely. I was just curious. <laughs> Thank you. Yes, hello. <laughs> uh, hello from a fellow uh, Tenerife neighbor. I'm glad that we have people doing this kind of stuff there. Um, a question about the uh, design of what you are presenting. It took us about a decade to create a responsive web design for the 2D websites. But what you're showing, like it looks great on a great big screen, but how do we accommodate you know, <laughs> smartphones, tablets, anything else that they are existing and we have to know about them um, if we are about to make it, you know, more popular. So how do you think about designing this 3D environments that will be, you know, responsible, responsive, but uh, also, you know, fun to play with? Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you. Uh, well, uh, obviously, immersive design is not responsive. But if you use a, a mobile phone or a tablet for um, uh, for a three D website, you can use your gyroscope. So you turn and you see how the environment is changing. Okay, it's like a window through another place. So you turn and you see the back of the of the scenario. You know. So in that way, it is responsive. It works on mobile phones was very good, um, uh, but um, the main objective here is to be immersive. So um, this is really for virtual reality glasses. We are designing uh, 360 environments that are, are the, 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 the platform is uh, virtual reality headsets. Now, not many people have the real reality glasses at home, but maybe in 10 years, uh, it will be very common. You know? So, and we have the last week, a uh, new uh, presentation of another uh, VR headset. Um, and it's uh, populating now the, the idea of having this device at home. So, this is really a platform. But it works on mobile phone, but not responsive as to the uh, as to the webs are, you know. Thank you. Any other questions? Well, I think that wraps it up then. Um, oh wait. I do need to let you guys know that we have our first question for the card game. Is anybody playing the card game? 
<laughs> well, um, the first question is here, and that's uh, when and where was the first WordCamp? Are they supposed to answer me? <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> that's the next question, though. So if you're playing the game, that's the next question. And otherwise, lunch is soon, but we got one more sesh, and everybody give a big round of applause for Javier. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you.